you know they don't have a proper training place you know sometimes they will call here in some football ground or sometimes like you know other places like school ground or they keep changing the location i never see the instructor oh, that really hit me and then i had to stop my training for some time but in the future i want to make a, a you know strike fit academy as a community place Back in 2013, like uh, I was completely into a spiritual field. Like you know, I used to be a spiritual guy, working in the church ministry and things like that. Then one point came, like we were struggling. I was struggling financially, like anything. And then I wanted to do a martial arts. To choose true martial arts, I wanted to do like you know to get into armed forces and all, so that that can you know give me a secure life. To support my family and all. Then I, I was searching for a combat sports. Then uh, in Nagaland there was one place like they were used to have all this karate and kickboxing and things like that. And that was first thing that I could able to get some of the people contact with. Then I wanted to get with them, but you know they don't have a proper training place. You know sometimes they will call here in some football ground or sometimes like you know other places like school ground or they keep changing the location i never see the instructor <laughs> over there so uh, then i really wanted to do then uh, in 2014 uh, i got one uh, seminar notification in social media and even in the uh, newspaper then i thought okay why don't i even try for that and then i i just go i wanted to just go and see what things are really is then by then like i used to start following ufc and all also just 2014 only like i used to you know follow ufc things and all like that but i i don't have proper knowledge about it because i'm not from any martial arts background then 2014 like uh, this uh, first they wanted to uh, start mma in nagaland gym so they came for a seminar but there was also going to happen a uh, one proper combat training center which was uh, combat academy in nagaland and I attended that seminar. Then I liked the concept, and then to sh uh, show so many things, and which we have never seen before, even in the you know like um, in the pictures or any even in the videos and things like that. So that was the first thing for me, like seeing the so many uh, you know short gloves. First time looking at all those things, like you know, uh, it looks fancy also inside the cage. So I liked it. After right after the seminar, I started attending the. Uh, classes and all uh, to my mentor coach Kremele Mehta who is running a wonderful academy in Begin Dimapur Nagaland he's the pioneer who brought MMA in Nagaland and this is where I started my journey and then I catch up MMA and then like you know today like he's also one of the person that is a reason behind on my success one is God he's always been faithful he opened a door for me to get in with people but my coach Kremele Mehta he's been he was been as my mentor and as a guider as a coach and I owe to him also like you know so many success and things that I got it so far I started competing 2014 that was my first YFC fighting championship that was Yoda fighting championship that was I think that was the first uh, a major pro promotion in India because as far as I know then I compete there. Then you know, like 2015, I fought against Roshan Luang. So that was a fight night a championship back in Mogok Chonganli, which is in Nagaland. In my fight, I broke my leg. So that really hit me, and then I had to stop my training for some time. And then you know, like that was a very bad part from uh, things that happened in me, like you know. I kicked him in a low kick hard and then he was a southpaw guy so I kicked him on his knee twice and then I broke my leg then I had to, that was very thing like it really you know if I think back that was a very tragic thing that happened but at the same time I could able to learn also so many of my mistakes and all so basically like I was in uh, other academy which was under my mentor and coach Kremele Mehta but since to cover to give more co coverage to the broader way to the people you know like it is not 
to uh, you know open again or to challenge other people or other academies and things like that but to reach faster and vast in a vast way it is better to have uh, you know like a gym that can you know we can bring team together we can showcase together also or else if we have only one team then you know we cannot get it well also because so many a time that we have, we have been facing is like you know you train in one place and your teammate knows what you do what you not do and what is your weak point and strength point then uh and i was too much into striking only like muay thai background and then i've been doing a muay thai things and all so i wanted to do a little bit muay thai also striking and at the same time i wanted to cover even along with the other academy of my coach like you know they are also doing very good but at the same time i also wanted to cover up so many grassroots level fighters and all so that it is easier for a martial arts community to cover up more people and then give them a broader uh, platform also like at the same time they get a quick uh, response also from the academies if we have a more academies you know then there will be a competition they can compete in a grassroots level so that they can go a little further and in a national level even in an international level but back then there was no promotion so we hardly have promotion in a year then you know so we just prune a fighter and we send them right away in the national level so there is a big pressure and there is a huge nervous in front of them even me being a fighter also so i thought like why don't even i start and then i you know with the consent of my coach we have a good relationship so i with the consent of my coach like i said look coach i want to start like this uh, what do you think and then he, he was uh, very happy and supportive and then he mentored me also even right after the academy that I have started. Back then, like as I said, it was uh, very new even in India. And to reach not this part of uh, India, like it, well, it is little back, you know, it is little away to catch up such standard. I could not say standard, but to reach the knowledge, you know, somebody has to be educated, right? So then, as I said, like my coach bring the concept and started equipping people and right now i think everybody is catching up and following up with ufc plus mma community people are so much aware and then you know like every time we have shows over there like it's like a crazy audience and crazy people you know to support and then we get a good response and then like people are being educating strike fit academy is a academy that i have started with vision i did i did not start as a you know to compete with other and then just you know to make my position no the strike fit academy is basically and very much for initial fighters those who want to come in so i wanted to give them a platform with my hundred percent you know knowledge whatever i have and then you know like um the vision is all about helping the people helping the youngster there are so many people they are just wondering after their graduation and some of people like you know they don't they stop their uh, schooling and all and then just wasting times and things like that so now like we charge the amount we charge the fees and all things like because rented places and all but in the future i want to make a, a you know strike fit academy as a community place where the fighters can train they can work and we don't have to depend on government because so far all my career I've never got any sponsors or any support from government. Everything like I have been doing by myself and then plus the people that loves me that you know that uh, has a mind for me and then you know people have been part of my thing. So that's why like you know I want to bring up a community where fighters can work, fighters can even earn and then we can be dependable to our own and then we can even sponsor by ourselves so that we don't have to has a lot because now right now even to get here just very close uh, you know like about 400 kilometer but it's to reach here also we struggle such as like aboto he's a fighter and he's been with me since 2019 and to survive to support himself here he rather auto it is very difficult for him to even um supplement most of the there like people are very natural but so many you know like only the physical uh energy or effort cannot achieve into this profession so we need proper supplements and proper you know uh things to follow up also with the athlete's body 
So that's the thing like I wanted to bring up a community where we can, you know, bring up and collaborate things like that also and then to help out people.